Much has been said about the Ethereum killers for a while now, yet projects like Tron, EOS, Cosmos and Tezos have all failed to dethrone the current king of smart contracts. Right now, the major challenges are said to be Polkadot and Cardano. I'm going to give you the lowdown on the latter and I'm dropping a video next week covering Polkadot. So if you're interested, click subscribe now in case you forget. But now let's see if we can make some money with Cardano. Without wasting too much time then, what is Cardano? Essentially, it's a blockchain platform for smart contracts, very similar to Ethereum. Now, it's trying to create a decentralized computing network that millions of people, businesses, and governments can use to build secure and scalable projects or applications resistant to tampering and censorship. Cardano has its eyes on the biggest prize out there by essentially aiming to create this decentralized internet of sorts. However, how likely is it that Cardano will be the eventual winner in this space? In terms of pedigree then, Cardano was founded by Charles Hoskins one of the co-founders of Ethereum. And based out of Switzerland, Charles and a large network of scientists are taking a very academic approach by slowly developing Cardano's network based on peer-reviewed research. Whereas many other blockchain platforms are racing ahead to try and secure this first mover advantage, Cardano is playing the long game by taking its time and reducing the likelihood of making costly mistakes, such as those that have caused scalability and security issues at competitors Ethereum and EOS. Whilst their rivals act as the guinea pigs, Cardano can observe and develop their protocol based on the competition. And therefore, not only does this slow and steady method reduce risk, but this evidence-based approach is one that prospective clients in this space will surely appreciate. Cardano may not be the favorite amongst early adopters of the blockchain. However, once the sector has been established and if it's as disruptive as we're led to believe, then a large portion of the world's business will surely move onto the blockchain and Cardano's evidence-based methodology will give businesses and governments plenty more comfort when choosing their platform of choice. So what other advantages does Cardano have over the current market leader Ethereum? Well, the project's early adoption of proof of stake has allowed it to catch up with Ethereum, which initially was built using proof of work. Yet it has become clear that a proof of stake protocol is far more efficient and better for the environment as it uses much less computing power and energy. Despite Ethereum's first mover advantage, its pivot towards proof of stake has been extremely slow and has allowed Cardano to get there ahead of them. Investors in Cardano can now stake their ADA tokens to help secure the network and in doing so, they are rewarded with around 4 or 5% interest on their tokens. Staking has become one of the most exciting features of owning cryptocurrency and not only has Cardano beaten Ethereum to market with this function, but Cardano allows investors to stake as little as $50, whereas Ethereum's protocol requires investors to own around $50,000 worth of ETH tokens in order to benefit from staking. The rest of the advantages about Cardano being faster and more secure than Ethereum are all yet to be seen as we await the release of Cardano's GoGuan update, which will finally allow developers to build applications on the platform. Hoskinson has been very vocal about how much more secure and faster it will be to run applications on Cardano versus Ethereum. However, other projects have said similar things in the past, yet made very little impact on Ethereum's dominance. Yes, Ethereum has a significant head start and it remains the most actively developed blockchain protocol out there. However, Cardano is currently sitting pretty in second place and given that Cardano is currently worth around 15% that of Ethereum, I think it probably has a greater than 15% chance of dethroning the market leader and therefore a 7x increase in the price of ADA is 100% a possibility. That said, it's important to point out that ADA, which is Cardano's token, has performed extremely well over the past 12 months with the price of ADA rising 3000%, making Cardano one of the top five largest cryptocurrencies by market cap. Therefore, despite the current dip, it is a lot more risky to invest in ADA at its current price. However, despite the enormous rally, Cardano is still only worth around one seventh that of Ethereum, and therefore it may still have a lot more room to grow if you believe that Cardano is the true Ethereum killer. In fact, Cardano doesn't necessarily have to even kill Ethereum to be successful because it's likely that more than one cryptocurrency will prevail in this space in much the same way Google, Microsoft, and Amazon share the cloud computing markets. So there you go, a high level overview of Cardano, and hopefully I've pointed out a few things for you to consider before investing in it. But perhaps four key points to take away include the enormous prize on offer, given that they are developing the ecosystem on which many other crypto projects are being built. Secondly, along with Polkadot, they are the most likely to replace Ethereum in this space. Thirdly, the fact that if Cardano does live up to the hype when their mainnet launches in March, then it's possible that Ethereum and Cardano could one day switch places and market caps resulting in Cardano rising to around $7. And lastly, but most importantly, the price of ADA has skyrocketed three 
3,000% over the past 12 months. So investing at this stage does carry significantly high risk and you should not be investing anything more than you can afford to lose. Remember, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I'm just trying to give those who are considering investing in ADA a bit more information so that you can make an informed decision. Before you go, please click the like button. It really helps and stay tuned because I've got loads of cool videos in the pipeline. Obviously, if you subscribe, you'll get a notification when they come out and that way you'll be able to act fast and hopefully make or save yourself some money on the stock market. In the meantime, check out my website tradingplaces.com and remember that your money should be working for you and not the other way around.